Hey everybody, welcome back to Neo Quest 2. Um, so we just beat Act 2 in the last episode, so we are here in the Lost Desert now. Um, so let's talk to these two people here, Princess Vissa. Princess Vissa said, This sandstorm has been going on for several days now, and it's one of the worst storms I've ever seen. Anyone who goes outside gets battered by sand and wind, and if that wasn't bad enough, there are monsters roaming the Lost Desert that seem to have arisen from the sand itself. How can I help? It's been a long time since we needed to control the weather, but in years past, we would make use of the Medallion of Wind, a powerful magical artifact. Unfortunately, it was lost long ago, but there is a way to find it, the Celestial Talisman, which rests on its altar in the Temple of the Sky to the east. However, well, the Temple of the Sky has unfortunately been occupied by stone golems and other fierce creatures. We can't even get to the talisman. If you'd be willing to adventure inside, we'd be most grateful. The temple is due east of the palace, in the desert. Once you find the talisman, it will guide you to the medallion. Alright. Advisor Weteb says, Her Highness hopes that you were able to end this sandstorm. Trade and commerce in our lands have dwindled to almost nothing, and there are reports of bandits and thieves roaming the desert, attacking anyone who travels there. Okay, what can you tell me about the lost desert? Sakmit City, named after an ancient king, sits at the edge of a river delta. The river flows from an oasis in the north. The Temple of the Sky sits to the east and a bit north of here, and there is another temple, old and ruined, north of the oasis. To the west, across the river, stands Zakaruk's Pyramid, the burial place of an ancient pharaoh. It has been sealed for centuries, though, and no one, and none know how to enter. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's go over to this guy. No one may visit the royal apartments without permission. Move along. Okay. Um, so there's a couple more guys up here we can talk to. Um, well, these are just a couple more guards, um, so maybe we'll just leave. Um, according to the maps, there's... Whoops, that's not the right way. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything to do here. Hmm. There's a guy up here we should talk to, I think. Cause th so this area is kind of more um, open, the Lost Desert. It's not exactly clear which way to go. Like in Terra Mountain, we were pretty much just following a straight line. So we need to talk to this guy, I think, to decide where to go. Fabaya says, Ah, greetings. You must be the adventurer, or possibly adventurers, that have been found to unlock the mystery of this sandstorm. I'm rather old and getting blind, you see, or I'd know how many of you there are. Do you know anything that might help me or possibly us? Well, I'm a traveler and scholar, so I certainly hope so. The Temple of the Sky to the east is where you should start. I don't know much about the creatures who have apparently taken up residence there, but I'm sure you'll find out some way past them. The temple was originally only one story, but years after it was built, a second story was added. However, it was only for the use of the temple clerics, and the stair up to it was hidden in a storage room on the ground floor. Okay. Ah, well, I've just borrowed quite a lot of books and scrolls from the royal library that Princess Vissa is quite kind. Um, okay, I think that's unfinished there. And I haven't had much time to go through them. But I'll tell you what, come back in a while and see if I'll see if I learned anything. Alright, man. So we need to go to the east. And there's a hidden staircase in a storage room to get to the second floor. Good to know. So let's see where we are. So I did say in the last episode that we would go look at the real Lost Desert. Um, so let's do that. So here's some tents. Um, you know, before we do that, I, I kind of am liking like showing off the area. They showed off Terra Mountain last time. Meridel, this is... Meridel, this is the first chapter. I never actually showed it here. Um, and you can see this is Illison, who I think was mentioned. Um, so you can do her quests here. How do I go back to Meridel? 
don't know. So this is Meridel. Um, found some Neo points. Yay. You can go to the castle here and you can see uh, King Skarl. Um, Invasion of Meridel, I think, is this was like a strategy game, kind of like Fire Emblem or something, but I don't think it works anymore. And I think that's it. There's the farms. That's another area. So yeah. Um, oh, you can switch between Flash and HTML. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Well, whatever. Let's get out of here. So Lost Desert. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks pretty different from how I remember it, honestly. Um, here's Sakmet. The, they mentioned this area. Um, so you can see everything here. Fruit Machine is one of like the dailies where you can just do the fruit machine and you might get it like a paintbrush or something. Um, so yeah, there's not much more to see here. Um, don't really know much about this area. This was added pretty, um, I think, um, later on. I don't remember exactly when. So yeah. Um, another thing I said I would show is my avatars. And I did figure out how to change back to the classic site so I can see how to get to the avatars now. So I just want to show these here because I was talking about Cocoa Roller. Apparently I have a font and this is what it is. Don't even remember that. <laughs> um, so here's all my avatars. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of the newer ones, but I've gotten some of them. I do have the Grundo discarded plushie, which is one of the random ones that people are pretty unlucky with. I remember when Wishing Well came out and everybody was trying to figure out how to get it. Um, they eventually figured it out, obviously. Got the fishing one. I have the one for King Skarl. I have, um, what else do I got? That's interesting. Ice cream machine. That one took a long time to get. I really liked playing it though, so I didn't mind too much. Um, I don't know like which one of these are like considered like rare still, you know. I'm just thinking of like ones that were rare back when I played Bright Veil. That one was pretty rare. You had to land on a certain place in the um wheel of what's it called? Wheel of Knowledge. Um, Kachik Herder, I remember being very difficult to get. But I did it. Drake escaped from Meridale Castle. Probably not too hard to get nowadays. But back then it was pretty hard. You had to be in the top 50 in that game. Um, Meow Clops. That one's pretty expensive. Um, I think it's worth like around 10 mil or so. At least that's what it used to be worth. Um, This one I remember everybody trying to figure out how to get to. I remember when that one came out. Let's see. Um, you see my NeoQuest one I have. Got the number six avatar. Pretty sure that was lent to me. I never actually had that much money. Um, I don't remember exactly what all of these are for. This was a like, card you had to buy. This was the ZDAP that I talked about getting lent. Lever of Doom was another annoying random one. Um, FQD. Those are probably pretty cheap nowadays. Um, I do have the Wheel of Monotony one, I think. Do I? I have the Wheel of Extravagance. Um, I think I have the Wheel of Monotony somewhere. I don't remember. I don't know, like, what they're called, so. Also, a cup player. Hmm, I wonder if that's still around. I've been out of the game for a while. Yeah, there's the Wheel of Monotony. East Safara, that's the game where like ads come up and you have to close them. Um, I was, I was, oh, uh, here's the Neo Quest 2 ones. This is for one of the bosses you beat later, and this is for one of the normal enemies. So we're pretty far back now. So the one I was talking about in the last episode was Coco Roller. And there we go, Coco Roll. Yeah. 
from one of those old phone games. That's pretty cool. I would imagine that's probably like the rarest one I have now. I don't know like which, I don't remember which ones are retired. Um, a lot of the early ones I get, I got were like the clickable ones where all you have to do is like look at a pet lookup. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably all that is mildly interesting. So we can go back now. I just wanted to to uh, look at that a little bit. So sorry to deviate from the game, but I just was talking about it on the last episode. So I wanted to um, see if I really did have that one, Cocoa Roller. So let's go to these uh, tents now. Because they have some people in them. Let me just look up which ones we actually want to talk to. Well, you know what? I never um I never put on my I never looked at my armor that we got. So combat focus plus three, stunning strikes minus one. That's not ideal. Um it is better damage, but maybe we should look to see if they have a better sword without the debuff. Mipsy's got Defense plus one, haste minus one. I don't have any points into haste, so I don't think it can go below zero, so that's worth it. Um, I'm going to max out haste soon, though, so I might want to switch back, actually. We'll see. Um, magic resistance plus three, haste minus one. I think that's worth it. So those are the three I got. Um, don't need to talk to either of these guys. Let's see, this uh, this guy, yep, this is a weapons guy, Sabalis, Iron Longsword, yeah, that's pretty good, we'll get that, I don't care about the wand, the bow, very good, definitely, um, Tunic is 25, um, where's the tunic that I have on? 19. So yeah, this is better. Um, the Acolyte's robe is 15. Hmm, this is probably better for now. Because it also gives us a better defense. Um, do I want the longsword? Or I got that. Do I want the... What am I thinking of? Do I want Rohan's armor? No, because this gives me better magic resistance, so we could probably keep that one on for now. So let's equip him with that. Um, equip her. What else did I buy? The leather armor. And is that it? I think so. Um, did I? Yeah, I equipped the bow. Okay, so we could sell all this stuff, but um, I shouldn't do that because then if I shouldn't do it until we need the money. Um, this guy is a potion seller. So let's see what he's got. We have lots of potions, so we don't really need the regular ones. Could definitely use some. I mean, do we even really need resurrection potions? No, we have five of them. Some slowing potions, not really haste potions. Some scorch potions, those might be nice. I can buy 10 of those. But I think that's going to be it. Alright, I think that's it. We could also heal, but there's not really any reason to. Because we're at full, oh, we're almost at full health. Mipsy's about to level up. And then, um, also... Um... What am I thinking? Oh yeah, if if we die, usually you go back to the last place you healed, but that is not the case because um or it doesn't really matter because we 
um, would just go right back to the other room anyway, because we're going to go back to the beginning of the act. It doesn't send you back like to the last act or anything like that. As we found out last time. Okay, so we got two sandwalkers in a desert nomad. Interesting. So the enemies in this one aren't like monsters. They're like bandits. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool to change it up. So it's real people that we're killing this time. So we can like feel bad about it. Wow, Taylenia is doing good damage now. Very proud. Aw, oh, man. Just barely missed out on killing both of them. So Nipsey's level 30. Um, we might want to go on hunting mode soon. Oh, wow. I didn't realize their defense was already this high. So, yeah, that uh, armor. That's probably not necessary. I'll just take the haste boost. Um, actually, we should heal up here with Rohan and Taylinia. Oh, that was overkill. That's okay, though. Um, all right, we're going to go straight up, and then we're going to go to the left corner. A decaying mummy and two sandwalkers. Yeah, we're doing much better than we were last time we switched chapters because I was so underleveled that I was just getting bodied by everything at the start of Act 2. But we're in much better shape now. So we're at like about the recommended level. I think for the next boss, the recommended level was like 31, so we're like right there. Um, we'll probably get there. Three decaying mummies, wow. So this is the chapter where we get our healer, but I don't think it's until about halfway through the chapter. So we got a little bit to go. I I could just be wrong too. Like maybe we could go get them right now, but I I don't think we can. Um, take him out. There we go. Dude, it does seem like I have to heal a little more often, but it's not a big deal because we have so many potions. Got this little water area here. Mix it up. Yeah, I think I talked before how I never really like desert levels. Um... So this was always my least favorite chapter. It's just like, it's still like monochrome, you know? Like it's all just desert, like uh, sand. So it's just all brown. Um, it's, I like like the bright colorful areas a lot more. I guess you could say the same thing about Terra Mountain, how it's just all snow. But I just like snow better. Probably just because I grew up in uh, Michigan, which is a very cold climate. Lots of snow all the time. Not a lot of sand. I did really enjoy... Um, like, I went to California a few years ago. So I saw, like, a desert area for the first time in person. And I enjoyed it a lot more in person than I do in, like, video games. In video games, like, the desert levels are always my least favorite. With a few key exceptions. Like, I really like... The one in Origami King. Um, that was a really cool looking level. And I really like the one in Mario Odyssey. The second world in Mario Odyssey. Um, those are the two that spring to mind. I'm sure there's more that I do like. When I say I don't usually like the desert levels, I'm usually thinking of like the second world in the Mario games. Um like the second world in a lot of games <laughs> like um yoshi's woolly world is another one there's um the pokemon levels that are in the desert that's usually just because there's a lot of random encounters though 
Um, I don't know. Again, that's what's springing to mind. I don't have a lot of examples off the top of my head. Oh, wow, we're already in the area with the boss. Um, but it looks like it's going to be quite the route to get to him. So we need to go, like, down and then, like, all the way around. So it's a bit of a walk. So we actually might hit level 31 before we get there. A mutant sand grundo. This was like a boss in chapter one. I mean, I don't think it was exactly the same, but this was pretty much what that chapter one boss was. Um, I don't know why I kept attacking him. Should have just moved on to somebody else and finished him off with Mipsy. Man. Shoot, they're going to kill Talenia. Mm, risking it. I have resurrection potions. It's fine. Oh, come on. Just attack anybody. They really zone in on the characters that are weak, it seems. Like, if I ever have a character that is low health, it always seems like they target it. Like, they might be a little smart. So it's the boss is like right in the middle of this room, but all the areas look to be blocked off. So it's going to be kind of, um, we have to take kind of a roundabout way to actually get to it. Cool. Man, they're doing a lot of damage. Like, they're going down pretty quick, but they're hitting really hard. And they're kind of resisting Obliterate, even. So it's, it's a good thing we have all these potions. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. We're going to start really accumulating potions once we get our healer, because then we just won't really ever be using them. These rooms are, like, so random. Like, there's just a bunch of chairs sitting in here. Um, So you can kind of actually see the boss if we go this way. Um, we got to take out these sand grundos first, because they're hitting hard. Man, and they're mesmerizing. It's getting tough. Mm, I'm just going to do it. It'd be worth it to finish him off. Really? We didn't still? Man, and Rohan and Taylenia are both mesmerized. Uh, Taylenia should be going soon. Well, we're going to have to take another hit, but it's fine. He missed. It's cool. do that man all right that should be a really good experience at least yep yeah so you can see the boss maybe you can't see the boss i guess it's too far away no you can't actually see him but he's right in that area we just have to go all the way around to get in there Man, I would love nothing more for Neopets to make, like, a huge comeback. There's so much potential here. There's so much nostalgia for a lot of people. I wish they would just, like, lean into it more, you know? I don't think the new design is really the way to go. But, you know, I'm not trying to be, like, an armchair CEO. I don't know any better. Like, I've I've never ran a company. So... I've never run a company. I don't know the process. I made some bad decisions in this fight. <laughs> I kind of deserve to get killed here. I get, I'm get. i getting lucky. They could have easily taken out either Taylenia or Mipsy. Um, but yeah, like I know I don't know how to run a company, but 
this new design it just doesn't seem to be the one it it just doesn't seem to be what they should be doing I know they want to make it more mobile friendly and that's really cool like I think that should definitely be a priority I do kind of wish though that there were like separate versions of the site like maybe a design for the mobile and a design for the web but they seem to want to like consolidate it into one design and it just like feels like more cheap I don't know it's not like I, I guess Neopets could always kind of be described that way but I mean, I guess it's mostly probably just my nostalgia talking because this design is like how it's always been or like more or less, you know, it, it did used to look different, but it's looked like this for a long time. But who knows? I mostly just worry that a lot of the site is going to be lost in the transition. I guess I care more about that than the actual look of it. Because I'm sure a lot of it is going to be lost. There's no way they're going to convert every single game. Considering the very small selection they've done so far. At least released so far. I mean, they might have done more in the background. But I'm sure we're going to lose a lot of games. And I also feel like they're probably going to come out less frequently. Not that new games really come out a lot nowadays anyway, but I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about because I like I've been away from the site for four years and even four years ago, I didn't play that much. So um, I'm not super well informed on any of this. I'm just kind of like spouting my uninformed opinions right now. I do wonder how other people feel about the direction of the site. I don't, like, with the um, new design and stuff, like, I don't really know too many people who play, so I don't see a lot of opinions. Like, I have Zach here. He's really my only friend who's ever played for a significant amount of time. Um, I don't think he's too fond of the beta either I mean I'm glad they're not just like tossing the towel and being like you know screw it it's not worth the money just let the site die I really wish they'd bring back um bilge, bilge dice I think is how you pronounce it b-i-l-g-e dice that's been a part of the site that's just been like broken forever and I don't know why. Maybe it's um like maybe the game had like an outdated format, but it seemed to be just like this game. But it was broken even 4 years ago and it's not back. Oh, I also wish there were still new Lenny conundrums. I always loved doing the Lenny conundrums, but I was a dumb kid and I could never figure them out. I bet I could actually figure some of them out now. And I love like stuff like that. So it would be so much fun to like bring that back. I always wanted that avatar, but I never got it. That's been known for a long time. All right, we're almost to the first boss in this area. There's actually quite a few bosses in this chapter compared to the last chapter where there was three. All right, so we're getting to the point where we can max out two skills for Mipsy and almost max out some other ones for the other guys. Um, we maxed out damage increase for Rohan at least. So Rohan needs a potion or two, and that should be it. We're almost there. Yeah, the the last chapter, I think, was only three episodes long, so it really didn't take too long to get through it. But I, do, I did have two 
long grinding sessions off camera where I grinded six and five levels. So 11 levels total off camera. So that probably, that definitely helped with its shorter length. And I mean, I, t I anticipate having to do that again, but hopefully maybe if there's like more bosses and stuff, it won't be as bad. The general rule of thumb is we want to be level 40 before going into act four. So um, hopefully with the, you know, more bosses will be there more naturally. Siliclast, a stout rock golem, looks at you balefully as you approach. He says nothing, but a deep rumbling sound emanates from him as he prepares to strike. All right. He's got 400, 500 health, more than Scuzzy had, hasted himself. Might want to start thinking about doing that kind of stuff myself. He's really resisting that. All right. Um. Yeah, that's. It's really not doing anything. Maybe I should switch to potions with Mipsy. Well, she needs to heal herself first of all. Ooh. Whoops. I thought it was Mipsy. Well, that's okay. He can use it too. Ah, shoot. She's not gonna go before. Oh no. He. She will go before him. Okay. We're good. Um. Throw a scorch potion. That's not doing anything. Let's use another one for Mipsy. I just don't want to die. I don't want anybody to lose out on the experience here. Um, Scorch Potion. I need to do some damage. Physical damage seems to be the way to go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, man. I don't want to risk them dying. Like, I probably could take him out faster, but. Come on. This should be it. There we go. Silicast shudders, and after a moment, pieces of his stone body start flaking off. Seconds later, he begins to rumble even louder, and larger pieces crumble to the ground. After a few seconds, he is nothing more than a pile of rubble. In the middle of the pile, you see a dull gleam. The Celestial Talisman. All right, so we got a new bow. Some potions, Celestial Talisman, a new splint. Let's go ahead and look at that stuff while giving these guys some more help. Um, So we got uh, this we already had. Let's see. We got the Compound Short Bow, which is um straight upgrade. Awesome. We got this definite upgrade. Wow, that's really good. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, and then Celestial Talisman. And then some good potions. I think it was the Potent Health one, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that was really nice. Um, So let's go ahead and leave. There's a little warp thing. Thank God they don't make you walk all the way back to the beginning. Um, That'll put us... Oh, that puts us all the way back in here, huh? All right. Well, cool. Um, I guess we'll start back here on the next episode then. So again, hope you guys are enjoying the series um that's one boss down in chapter three out of a few um so we will go on to the next one i think there's like five or six bosses in this chapter so um we might have a few more episodes on this chapter um but yeah hope you guys will join me for that and i'll see you then thank you for watching